Let's go to Brussels now and speak to our correspondent, Pierre Benazé. Pierre, why did the European Commission reject Italy's budget proposal for next year? Well, it's basically uh, the same critics that we heard from Brussels next week, uh, last week when the uh, plan was uh, initially received here, saying that it does not comply with the European rules. Uh, it does not comply. That's what the uh, EU, EU Commission says today. It does not comply uh, with what the uh, uh, Italy, the pre previous Italian governments and the uh, EU in a whole uh, has uh, endeavoured to do in the past years. Uh, the rules are the rules are going to be bent by, by the new plans of Italy uh, to incur a uh, public deficit, which will reach probably 2.4 percent of its uh, uh, GDP next year, whereas uh, the uh, previous government's plans are uh, intended to reduce this uh, public uh, spending to 0.8 percent of GDP and in order to reach uh, the uh, an, uh, balanced budget, if you will, in 2020, which is what is particular, uh, particularly infuriating for the EU Commission. Uh, the EU Commission says also that uh, Italy has already benefited from uh, lots of uh, flexibility from its part uh, since uh, 2015, uh, more than 30 million euros uh, flexibility. That's what the European Commission says. And that's the reason why it rejects uh, these draft uh, budgetary plans, uh, saying also that the uh, promises uh, to reduce the public debt uh, are not sufficient. You know, they, the uh, Italy's public debt is the uh, second only uh, in Europe after Greece, and it uh, rises up to 130 of its GDP. And the plans to reduce it by five points of percentage uh, are not sufficient. And that was the only uh, response that uh, the European Commission received yesterday from Italy. So Italy knew Brussels, uh, the European Commission wasn't happy with its uh, proposal. It stuck to it anyway. So what happens now? Well. Uh, we can only hope for both sides' sake that it turns out to be uh, more of a dialogue than a, a confrontation. Uh, but you heard Vasily Dombrovsky say that Italy had uh, three weeks uh, to propose uh, a new uh, draft budget. Uh, that's what the European Commission obviously uh, is expecting. Uh, they hope that they will be able to uh, work on a uh, constructive dialogue, if you will, uh, with the Italy's finance minister, uh, Giovanni Tria, which, uh, <laughs> whom was praised today uh, by uh, Pierre Moscovici, uh, in order to have a new plan, which would be a, a form of compromise. Uh, but we don't know exactly where it can lead, because that's the first time uh, this tool has been used in the last, uh, uh, for the six years it has been in place. Uh, and it could lead to, uh, well, financial sex sanctions of a kind, because this could open a public uh, deficit procedure from the part of the European Commission.